Okay. No more games. The truth. Who is the girl that's been stalking Ethan Crane? We've already told you. I don't believe for one minute this story about the girl moving to South America. She's right here in Harmony. And you know where she is. Now quit lying. I am Mrs. Crane's personal secretary. I don't have to stand here and be insulted like this at her house. Come on, Whitney, let's get You're out of here. You're not going anywhere. I was hired to find Ethan Crane's stalker, and that's what I'm going to do. Now, who is she? What's her name? I told you, I don't know. You're kind of quiet, Whitney. You don't have anything to say? Whitney doesn't know anything either. Is that right, Whitney? Or are you just trying to be loyal to your friend Teresa here? Because I'm going to tell you, that loyalty is going to get you in a lot of trouble. I I've told you everything I know. Fine. Maybe you'll talk to the police then. Is that what you want? No. Don't call the police. You either talk to me or you talk to them. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Who is the girl that's been stalking Ethan Crane? You know the problem here? Him! You're both being real negative. Well, I can't think of anything positive about having to work with this Neanderthal. You think I want some stuck-up Deb messing things up messing. around here? I'm trying to run a youth center, not a health spa. Now, I tried telling that to the judge, but she thought it would be a good experience for Ms. Crane. I can't think of anything worse. So. If I could get a word in here. OK, Sheridan, you were sentenced to 100 hours of community service here at the youth center. Luis, you're the director. You can't change that. Those are the facts. So my advice to you is to set aside your differences and make the best of it. Hey, you never know. It could turn out to be a really fun experience. Right? My hands are shaking. I'm so nervous. You want me to call your mom, Charity? No, that's OK, Miguel. I can do it. Wouldn't it be great, Kay, if we could help Charity find her aunt? Then she could stay in harmony and we could all be friends. Reese, why don't you go get me a bottle of water, please? Uh, there's a case in the laundry room. Sure. Mm. He is such a geek. Yeah, but he's Miguel's friend, so you gotta be cool. There's no way Charity's mom is my mom's twin. Well, your mom's picture is on the fridge, so once Charity sees it, we'll know for sure. Still busy. My mom must be on the internet. She goes into chat rooms sometimes looking for a twin sister. Wait till you tell her you saw her right here in Harmony. That had to be my mom's twin that I saw from the bus. She was wearing when she. It can't be. She looked exactly like my mom. If we could just find her, my mom wouldn't make us move away. And we could be together. Here's your water, Kay. So when can we start looking, Miguel? Uh, as soon as Mrs. Bennett gets back here from her shop next door. You know that I still haven't met your mom, Kay. I told you. Yeah, I think there's a picture of Mrs. Bennett around here somewhere. Isn't that right, Kay? They are the forces of darkness. I'm afraid they're in harmony very close to you, Grace. What is your sister talking about, Grace? What are these forces of darkness? They... They're evil. They're waiting to destroy goodness. The forces have been gaining strength since our family fought them in the Salem witch trials. That's how far back our family goes. Grace, I, I hate to say this, but your sister sounds a little woo out there. Oh, I know, Sam, but still I don't want to upset her. I mean, I didn't even know I had a sister until today. Look, ask her if she has any proof of these uh, dark forces. Can you name 
these dark forces in harmony. Timmy forgot. Tabitha went out. How could she leave Timmy alone with Fluffy? Timmy's so tired of Fluffy being mean to him. He's trying to act like a man, not a doll. Stand up, that nasty old Fluffy. Oh! That would do it. That's perfect. It's a draft plan, but this calls for drastic measures. And Tabitha's not around, so the timing is perfect. Hurry, Timmy. You have to complete your plan before Tabitha gets back. Got to get to Rosie's shop. I cannot let her out. Brack charity meet. It would be a disaster. Move it, Tabitha. Move it. of the one who could sing so sweet And I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew would take me high as breathe and breathe out You keep me alive You are the fire burning inside of me You are my passion for life Come on, you guys. Give peace a chance. What do you say? Okay. I'm willing to discuss this. Me too. Now we're getting somewhere. You don't want to be here, right? Right. Agreement. This is good. Keep going. Well, I don't want you here either. Oops. Negativity. We're trying for peace here, remember, Luis? Well, I have a peace plan. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. All right. Have your nephew tell the judge that uh, you want to file a new petition with the court. A new petition? Yeah. The judge wouldn't listen to a peon like me, but I'm sure she'd listen to a big shot crane. You're being negative again. Shut up, Hank. Now, have your nephew tell the judge that your experience, whatever that might be, could be better used elsewhere, perhaps rearranging flowers at a charity ball. Are you saying rich people don't have worthwhile life experiences? Nothing to offer but money? No. I meant one rich person in particular. I don't think the petition idea is going to work. Oh, and why is that, Hank? Because if Sheridan's nephew files a petition trying to overrule the judge's decision, the judge could get a wild hair and decide to double Sheridan's community service here. 200 hours? I'd rather eat nails. Well, I'll go get him. This is not going to work. Isn't that what I've been saying? Now, this job is demanding physically and emotionally. And you can't handle it. How dare you? You don't know anything about me. So much for peace. I'm sure I remember seeing a picture of Mrs. Bennett around here somewhere. Yeah, maybe there's one over there, I think. No, I don't see one. Maybe there's one in the living room. I'll go look. I'll help you, Kay. No, thanks. Um, Simone, you can help me. Why did you swipe that picture, Kay? Duh, because I don't want Charity to see it. Why not? At least that way you'd know if your mom was Charity's aunt. God, she is not her aunt. Well, just show Charity the picture. What have you got to lose? Plenty. What if Charity says that my mom is her aunt just so she can stay in harmony? Why would she lie about that? Why? Well, for one thing, it's obvious that she's desperate to get her hooks into Miguel. You're the one who's desperate. I'm normal. Charity's nuts. And so is her mom. You've never even met her mom. Telling Charity to come in before dark? Making them move around all the time? That's weird. I think they're con artists. Con artists. Yeah, what if they found out that my mom has amnesia and they know that she's searching for her family? I think it's a plot. I can't wait to see Mrs. Bennett. It'll be so great if she can help me find my aunt. She'll be a big help. She knows everyone in town. The only thing is, I have to be home before dark or my mom's gonna lose it. 
It won't be dark for a while. My mom worries, so... So maybe I should leave now. Uh, no, you can't do that. Darn, I couldn't find a picture of my mom anywhere. What's wrong? Well, I was just telling Miguel that maybe I should go now before it gets dark. I don't want my mom to be upset. I think Charity should stay a while longer. Don't you, Kay? What? Uh, your mom could help Charity find her aunt. Uh, don't you think Charity should wait and talk to her? That should do it. Have to be just right. Perfect. Now all Timmy have to do is pour this into Fluffy's dish. She'll drink it. It'll knock her out. And then... Then Timmy will perform a lobotomy. Timmy wonders why he didn't think of it sooner. Fluffy found out what Timmy was up to. <sighs> Timmy doesn't even want to think about what Fluffy would do to poor Timmy. about the forces of darkness. I have to convince her. I don't have any names, and I can understand why you would have doubts, Grace. You've been spared all these years. They haven't threatened you. If you want proof, I'll show it to you. I mean, she has proof of these forces of darkness? Look, I've never shown this to anyone. It's a photograph of a picture painted over 300 years ago. In it, you will see the face of evil. Maybe it'll stir your memory, remind you of someone living in harmony now. I mean, how could a 300-year-old painting remind you of someone living in harmony now? Hello? Oh, no, it's Tabitha. Tabitha, I have the most wonderful news. I have finally found my sister. I'm talking to her on the Internet right now. I mean, don't get me wrong, Tabitha. I am thrilled to find out I have a sister, a twin sister. It's just, I don't get what she means when she says them and forces of darkness. <laughs> well, maybe she's seen that new Star Wars film too many times. <laughs> Look, Grace, she's talking to you again. I'm going to send you the photograph of the picture right now. Over the internet. She's sending the picture now. Yes, Faith has a picture of a 300-year-old painting that she wants me to see. She says it might stir up some memories. I'm not sure what she can mean. Uh, unhand me! Uh, speak, old 
old woman. Admit to your evil ways. What strange doings thou have about this time? Oh, that is for me to know and thou to find out. Oh, even her language is strange. <gasps> thou shalt pay for this. I can't wait to see this picture. Yeah, I wonder what it'll show. The kids who come here are tough. So am I. Oh, really? So you think that you can relate to some kid whose parents work in the cannery? The cannery that your family owns? How are you going to explain to them why their family can barely make ends meet on the measly wages that your family pays them? Look, I don't have anything to do with my family's business. And no, I don't know kids like that, but maybe I can bring in a different perspective. Show them that there's another way, a better life out there. No. I won't let you fill their heads with dreams that they can never fulfill. How do you know they can't? She's got a point there, Louise. You don't know what you're talking about, Hank. So stay out of it. You just can't admit that I'm right. Because you're not right. I've seen wealthy do-gooders like you in here before. You think you can change a kid with a hug and a just-say-no button? These kids mean nothing to you. They're a cause. Something that you can talk about over cocktails and make yourself feel better. And when it gets old, you move on to the latest hot charity. You care more about cosmetics than you do community service. I don't have to put up with these insults. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Hank. When the going gets tough, the cranes run. Is that what you want? For me to call the police? No. Then talk to me. Tell me who the stalker is. Winnie. You! Stay out of this! It's enough, Frank. Ethan. It's all right, Teresa. I told you this investigation was over. Your mother told me to stay on it. I hired you. You take your orders from me. These girls know something. They answered your questions, Frank. Teresa told you the girl's been stalking me, uh, moved to South America. Then why did the gardener tell me that he saw the stalker this morning at the club? It's simple. It, it, the sketch that you showed him was torn up, right? He didn't get a clear look at the girl. But he, considering your less than gentle approach, Frank, he probably just said what you wanted to hear to get you off his back. This girl's own sister was about to identify my sketch before she stopped her. We've already explained that, Ethan. Whitney's sister just wanted to act like she knew something. I think she does know something. Well, why would Whitney lie about her sister? And why would Teresa make up a story about the girl going to South America? It doesn't make sense, Frank. It makes perfect sense. And I'll tell you why. We're waiting, Frank. Why are Teresa and Whitney lying? First of all, I think these girls know the stalker. Teresa admitted that she knew of her, but not her personally, not by her name. That's another lie. I think these girls know her very well. Maybe they go to school with her. Maybe they hang out with her. They might have even helped her to plan some of those crazy things that she did to you. That's ridiculous. Is it? Think about it. Could one girl have done all those things that she's done to you on her own? Give me a rag or something. Get it yourself. Hey! Wait! I'm so sorry. Here, this will get all the gun Get her away from me. No, it's all right. It's a water. No! I never saw anybody else but that one girl. Then they helped her plan the incidents. But either way, these two girls were involved. That's not true. Tell them, Whitney. I... You don't like to lie, right, Whitney? No, of course not. Then before you answer, think about what you would say if you were on a witness stand in a courtroom and you had the promise to swear to say the truth and nothing but the truth. What would you say then? This has gone far enough, Frank. You're scaring did, her. Did you or did you not help the girl that was stalking Ethan Crane? Kay shouldn't have to make this decision for me, Miguel. Kay's a good person, Charity. She just wants to help you. Don't you, Kay? Of course I do, Miguel. I can't think of anything I want more than for Charity to find her aunt. Then we can stay in harmony and be such good friends. There, you see? Even Kay thinks you should stay. But... I know how my mom gets when I don't come home on time. Yours too, right, Simone? Yeah, right crazed. 
Uh, my mom gets totally frantic if she thinks I'm not gonna be home before dark. <laughs> Moms, who can explain them? Still, if your mom gets sick from worrying, I'd never forgive myself. Exactly. And since you can't reach your mom by phone... I should go now. No, I agree with Miguel. You should stay, Charity. I'm not so sure about that now, Reese. Maybe Kay's right and you should go. I know how hard it is on my mom when my sister does something to upset her. I don't want your mom to be upset. Uh, but you don't have to leave yet. But I don't want to miss my bus. I'll get you home before dark, Charity. I'll take you home on my motorcycle. It's faster, and it'll give us more time to be together. I just hope that I can talk to Mrs. Bennett before I go. Why don't you go to her shop now? Good idea, Reese. Grace, I'm sending you the picture now. But promise you won't let anyone but you and your husband see it. Faith doesn't want anyone but us to see it, Sam. Oh, I promise I won't look. I don't mean to offend you, Tabitha, but it is what my sister wants. Oh, of course, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy that you find your sister, Grace. I know you are, Tabitha. But here comes the picture now. I wonder why it's so important. Well, maybe it has something to do with the people your sister's afraid of. Maybe. Look, it's almost done. It's kind of fuzzy. No, look, it'll clear up in a minute. Think. And fast, or it's curtains for you, Tabitha. No, I did not help the stalker do those things to Ethan. There you have it, Frank. Case closed. I don't understand you. When you first hired me, you told me to do whatever it took, whatever it took, to catch your stalker. But that wasn't the, when the girl was in harmony. Now she's out of the country. There's no proof. All I care about is that she stopped bothering me. That's proof. I have never left a case unsolved. You're just gonna have to let this one go, Frank. Just let me, just let me question Teresa one last time. Private. No. She works in your house. She's your mother's personal secretary. Ethan, if she is in league with your stalker, then that leaves you in a very dangerous situation. It's just the opposite. It occurred to me that the stalker disappeared right after Teresa started working here. Teresa's brought me good luck. Look, Frank, send me a bill and thank you for all your hard work. Goodbye. How to thank you, Ethan. Oh, thank you, Teresa. You're my family's good luck charm. I wasn't running from the work. I can work. I just don't want to work for you. I don't want to have to listen to you for a hundred hours of my time insulting me. Look, I was just telling it like it is. Excuse us a moment, Sherry. Lighten up. Butt out. Sheridan's a beautiful woman. So? So I'm trying to get to know her better, and you're blowing it for me, man. What? She knows we're friends. If you keep cutting her down like that, she's not going to want to have anything to do with me. Look, I got more important things to deal with than your love life. Come on, Louise. Go get some coffee. Oh. This is youth center business. I'm the director. I'll handle it my way. That's what worries me. I'm going to go get us some coffee. Don't worry, I'll be back in a flash. Keep that beautiful chin up, you hear? Thanks for your support, Hank. Basement. 
can tell they forgot the key. Oh, the Tabitha would be awfully mad if Timmy went in the basement. Are you afraid of what's in the basement, Tabitha? Don't you ever go in there. Do you understand? Fluffy's getting closer. She's going to get Timmy. Timmy doesn't care what Tabitha said. Nothing can be worse than Fluffy. Fluffy can't get to Timmy. Timmy's safe. <laughs> Uh-oh! Timmy thinks he's made a big mistake. <laughs> Timmy will just go now. Sorry to bother you. <sighs> if Timmy could only make friends with what's down there, Maybe it could help Timmy get rid of Fluffy for good. Forget it. It could get rid of Timmy for good, too. <sighs> what if Talitha finds out Timmy was down there? Timmy would be toast! Talitha can never find out. Never, never, never. <sighs> What's down there, anyway? Pictures downloaded. Thank you, Lord, for letting me finally find my sister before they harmed her. Now I've got someone to help me fight the evil. It's still a little fuzzy. If this portrait was painted over 300 years ago, how could it remind us of someone in harmony now? I have no idea. Know any pilgrims? What? A lot of pilgrims lived in New England back then. You're right. <laughs> What else is going on historically in New England? Oh, colonization, building of towns, churches. Oh, and how could I forget the Salem witch trials? Look, it's getting clearer. You're right, Sam. It is a portrait of a pilgrim. Well, it looks like a woman, but I, I can't make the face out. It's not... Wait, it's getting clearer. Tabitha! Tabitha! Hey, she fainted. You know, she almost fainted earlier after she jogged to the youth center. Tabitha jogged? Look, her pulse is okay. Look, I'll go get my kid. I'm gonna get some smelling salts. Oh, it's me. Oh, I always hated those hats. So unattractive. Now, berries. I look great in berries. Tap it up with the hats. To get rid of this picture before Sam and Grace come back. But how? I know nothing about computers. Oh, think, Tap it I don't even know how you can eat, Teresa. My stomach is still in knots. Relax, Whitney. We didn't get caught, did we? Well, we came this close. And that investigator still doesn't believe us. But Ethan does, and that's all that matters. <sighs> Isn't he wonderful? The way he came to our rescue like a knight in shining armor. If Ethan hadn't come in, Frank would have called the police. We'd be in jail right now. Oh, my parents would have killed me. We're not in jail. Not yet. Not ever. I was born under a lucky star, Whitney. Even Ethan called me his good luck charm. And now that Ethan thinks that stalker's left the country and that investigator's Frank's out of the way, I'm home free. Hmm. Forgot. Still have on this disguise. Do you really want to work here? Do I have a choice? Well, you can tell the judge you refuse. And get thrown in jail? You'd just love that, wouldn't you? Well, see you here first thing tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. I mean, how long do you really think you're going to last? Hundred hours. No more, no less. I give you two days max. You'll get your hands dirty, you'll break a nail, and then you'll go screaming at daddy to get you out of here. Oh, you think so? Sure. 
You'll use that mighty crane power to get you reassigned somewhere else. Probably the country club. You'll be putting olives on toothpicks. Are you finished? May I go? Adios. First thing, remember? Don't let the butler let you oversleep. Oh, come on, Charity. Let's go talk to Mrs. Bennett. See you guys. No. My sister said that my mom and dad were doing something important, remember? That's right. Well, I can't wait much longer, Miguel. Well, let's just go over and see if she's free. Dad? Mr. Bennett, can Mrs. Bennett talk to Charity now? Oh, I'm sorry, Miguel. It's a bad time. Our next door neighbor became ill over at the shop. Tabitha sick? What's wrong with her? Well, I don't know. Nothing serious, I hope. I know you. This is Charity. Charity, this is Mr. Bennett. We ran into each other on the street. You, you, you said you were looking for someone. That's right. My aunt. That's who I want to talk to Mrs. Bennett about. I see. But like I said, Tap of the sick, and I got to get uh, over. Charity has to leave soon, and this is really important, Mr. Bennett. Okay, listen. My wife will come over as soon as she's done, okay? I'm going to try my mom again. Oh, still busy. She must still be on the internet. Grace must have seen the picture by now. Why isn't she responding? I've got to get rid of this picture. But how? Erase. Erase. Nothing. How do you erase? E. E. Nothing. Delete. That's it. Delete. Nothing. Oh, I hate computers. If I ever get out of this, I'm going to put a spell on the entire Silicon Valley. Tabitha? Yes, dear? Oh, I will be right out. No hurry. Damn. I could just shake this. That's it. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Tremble and shake and delete this stuff. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Tremble and shake and delete this stuff. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Tremble and shake and delete this stuff. No, no, don't. I hate this disguise. Please. I just feel better if you kept it on for now. Just in mm. case. All right. But I told you, I'm home free. You are never going to be home free as long as you're working at the Crane Mansion. You're always going to have to worry about somebody who's going to recognize you. I'll be careful for now, okay? For now? <sighs> Forever. No. Oh, Mrs. Crane loves my work, and Ethan thinks I'm good luck. Eventually, things will calm down. I'll explain everything. We'll all have a good laugh over it. You really do live in a fantasy world, don't you? All my dreams are going to come true. It's clear sailing from now on. If I could only hear what they're saying, they know who the stalker is. And I'm going to prove it. Upset. Oh, I am upset. I'll give you three guesses as to who the director of the youth center is. I have no idea. Just think of the worst person possible. Someone who's arrogant, vindictive, pig-headed. No way. Oh, yes. Our good friend, Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. Oh, that's incredible. It's a nightmare. Can you believe my luck? Weird. Just earlier, I was telling Luis's sister, Teresa, how she brought to this house good luck. Obviously, that luck doesn't extend to me. You can't work for him. Ethan, the court ordered me to do 100 hours of community service at the youth center. I'll call the judge. Luis already talked to her. She refuses to change the orders. What are you going to do? There's nothing I can do. Luis is going to make your life hell. Huh, tell me about it. But he's in for a major disappointment if he thinks he can break me. I'll show him what Sheridan Crane is made of. And Sheridan, don't let Luis goad you into doing or saying something you regret. The guy is arrest happy, especially when it comes to our family. 
Oh, I'm sure he's just salivating to slap those cuffs on me again. But I've got a plan. What plan? <laughs> Trust me. I think I've figured out how to handle Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. Where's Sheridan? She left. Don't worry, she'll be back tomorrow morning. Did you guys reach some kind of truce? No, and there's not gonna be one. I can't figure you out, Louise. You can't figure me out? With all the trouble that you've gotten into in the past? You're not back in harmony an hour, and you're already making a move on Sheridan Crane. What's to figure out about that? She's beautiful. And she's rich. And she's a crane! But people like that have always caused trouble for people like us. She's treated me just fine. You're asking for trouble, Hank. Well, everybody's always told me that's my middle name. You're not even gonna get to first base with her. She's a spoiled, useless snob who's never had anyone say no to her. You know what? I have a feeling you don't know her as well as you think you do. In fact, I'd say you've met your match with her. Well, I'm ready for anything she dishes out. But is she ready for me? You know, I can't wait to see how this little game between the two of you plays out. Oh, really? Well, I can tell you how it's going to play out. I'm going to win. I should leave. My mom's going to be worried. Oh, what about finding your aunt? Well, it is getting dark outside, Miguel. And we don't want Charity's mom to get upset. I'll get you home on time, Charity. And if Mrs. Bennett can help you find your aunt, then you won't have to move. Come on, let's go over to the shop. We'll talk to Mrs. Bennett. Maybe we can even help Tabitha. Hey, how's Tabitha? She's conscious, but I can't find the smelling salts. Oh, don't worry, I got oxygen in my kit here. Oh, God, you know, I'm so worried about her. I can't imagine what's wrong with her. Give me some. 